Lesson 189 I feel the love of God within me now. Hi there. How would you like to feel the amazing love of God inside of you right now? How could your life remain the same after experiencing something like that? Ready to see the world with fresh loving eyes with today's Lesson 189? I feel the love of God within me now. We all have a light inside ourselves, a light that the world cannot see. With the eyes of the world, we will not see it either, because we are blinded by the world. Yet we have other eyes to see it, and the light is there for us to behold. It was not placed in us to be kept hidden from our sight. This light is a reflection of the thought we will practice today. To feel the love of God within ourselves is to see the world in a different way, shining in innocence, alive with hope, and blessed with perfect charity and love. Who could feel fear in such a world? This would be a world that welcomes us and celebrates us, keeps us safe from danger and pain, and offers us a warm and gentle home where we can stay a while. This would be a world that blesses us all day and watches over us while we sleep. It sees salvation in us and protects the light in us, in which it sees its own. A world that offers us its flowers and its snow to show its benevolence and appreciation. This is the world the love of God reveals. This world is so different from the world we see when we are filled with malice and fear. In each given moment, we can see only one of these worlds. And they can't both be true. One has to be false. A world where forgiveness shines on everything, and peace offers its gentle light to everyone, cannot be perceived by those who see a world filled with hatred and violence, poised to attack, to avenge, to murder, and destroy. Yet for those who feel God's love in them, the world of hatred is equally inconceivable, and they cannot see it. They see a peaceful world, reflecting the quietness and peace that shines in them, the gentleness and innocence they see surrounding them, and the love and joy in their hearts. What they have felt in themselves is reflected everywhere in the world around them. What would you see? The choice is given you. What world would we rather see? We have the opportunity to make a choice, so it's up to us. But let's not forget this law of seeing, we will see on the outside what we feel on the inside. Let's repeat that in the words of the Course. Learn, and do not let your mind forget this law of seeing, you will look upon that which you feel within. If we allow hatred to find a place in our hearts, we will perceive a fearful world, held tightly and cruelly by death's bony fingers. But if we feel the love of God inside us, we will see a world of mercy and love. Today we pass illusions. We're going to try and reach the truth inside us and feel its all-embracing tenderness, its love which knows us perfect as itself, its sight which is the gift its love bestows on us. We learn the way today, which is as sure as love itself and so simple that it avoids getting caught up in the confusing ideas of the world's apparent reasoning that only serves to hide the truth. Let's simply do this, let's be still and put aside all our thoughts about what we are and what God is. All the concepts we have learned about the world. All the images we hold of ourselves. Let's empty our minds of all the things we think are true or false, good or bad, and all the thoughts we judge worthy or not, and all the ideas of which we are ashamed. Don't hold on to anything. Let's not bring with us any thoughts the past has taught us, any beliefs we learned before from anything. Let's forget this world. Let's forget even this course. Let's come to God with completely empty hands. We don't need to know how to reach God. But God knows the way to reach us. Our part is simply to let go of anything that stands between us and God, between the Son of God and His Father. Let all obstacles be quietly removed forever. God will do His part in joyful and immediate response. Ask and receive. But do not make demands, nor point the road to God by which He should appear to you. The way to reach Him is merely to let Him be. For in that way is your reality proclaimed as well. God will take care of the rest. 
we can ask for help, but we don't need to tell God how to help us. All we have to do is let God be, and our true self will be revealed. So today, we're not deciding how we go to God. We're letting Him come to us. And with this choice, we find rest. In our quiet hearts and open minds, His love will make its own path. What is true is always there to be found. God knows His child and knows the way to Him. He doesn't need His child to show Him the way. His love shines out from within us, lighting up the world with innocence. Let's pray! Father, we do not know the way to You. But we have called, and You have answered us. We will not interfere. Salvation's ways are not our own, for they belong to You. And it is unto You we look for them. Our hands are open to receive your gifts. We have no thoughts we think apart from you, and cherish no beliefs of what we are, or who created us. Yours is the way that we would find and follow. And we ask but that your will, which is our own as well, be done in us and in the world, that it become a part of heaven now. Amen. What do you think of that? Isn't it always illuminating to be reminded that the world we see is a reflection of what we feel inside? And isn't it amazing that by feeling the love of God within us, we can see a world full of mercy and love? I feel the love of God within me now. I feel the love of God within me now. I feel the love of God within me now. You're doing great! Keep practicing and feeling that love of God inside you. See you tomorrow for another powerful lesson. Quick note before you go. Making these videos is a labor of love, but it's still financially challenging. If you've found value in what you've watched, please consider supporting with a donation. Even the humblest contribution means the world and ensures the continuation of these daily lessons. Thank you for your generosity. Did you enjoy the video and find it helpful? Please give it a like and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. We have a new lesson every day. And if you've been with us for a while, please consider supporting the channel. There's a lot of love behind these videos. Check out the video description for more details.